Hello. All right. Just a little rant about how ego halts productivity. Now, of course, looking at it from a standpoint of monetary based economics, this is easy. When it takes 15 billion dollars to build a total piece of shit death trap space shuttle to launch up into into orbit, that is the bureaucracy interfering with technological advancement. Because I mean, shit. I mean, look at how powerful just, you know, just your personal computer is, your laptop, or whatever it is you're using, compared to, like, the technology 10 years ago. So, we definitely have the capability to, like, put us into, like, the world of Star Trek, like, in a pretty quick order. So, it's bureaucracy that's really holding us back, and that all stems from ego and the monetary system and such. But, let's look at it from a standpoint of... A concept of resource-based economics, the free and open source world. Um, you know, you look at all the free, awesome uh, softwares that are out there, and especially for Linux. I mean, there's so many different types of Linux, and it's a free and open source operating system. It's better than Windows. It's more efficient than Windows. Um, most of this stuff doesn't cost anything, and you know, just programmers get together and they they develop this and they work on this just like for the for the greater good of everybody but here's the whole irony of it um you see programmers because they're geniuses now i'm gonna say most programmers not all because i don't want to stereotype but i would say the vast majority of programmers um their ego kind of puts them a little you know, out on the common sense category. Um, most of the common senses just go... Because they, they see convenience features as moron features. And I really, I, I agree with them on the fact that a computer should not try to do your thinking for you. Um, you should definitely, you know, be in control of it, not not the other way around, and I am against features that would, um, you know, continue to further vegetabilize people's heads, but the only thing is, is that a lot of coders confuse um, if convenience efficiency features with um, moron features. Now, if there's a feature that, you know, let's say some sort of a global configuration setting to where, okay, maybe it's going to take me 20 minutes to go in and configure that, but if it's a configuration template that I'm going to be using all the time within that program, because I'm using that program a lot, then it's going to save me like thousands of hours than it, taking that 20 minutes to set it up like that every single time, because the program isn't capable of, uh, you know, saving the setting for whatever reason. But the programmer's looking at it from a standpoint of like, well, it ain't gonna kill you to go in and set that up each time. 20 minutes ain't that long. You can go ahead and do that. Well, okay, maybe 20 minutes isn't that long. But when you're doing that each time, that adds up to thousands and thousands and thousands of hours over time. And maybe these coders are such geeks that they they can't get a girl and they don't have a life and like they're just like stuck in their homes like like forever like the freaking board docked into their their little catacomb thingies with like cybernetic implants to their brain and maybe they live on the net but some of us actually have a fucking life and so you know being able to increase our efficiency and productivity it's a good thing. And you see, this is like the real joke on open source, because a lot of these programmers, they have this ego like, you all have to do it my way or no way. And they all think like that. Well, not all, but you know, most. They most think like that. So if you look at how awesome open source programs are, and you look at all the cool shit that they can do, and you see that the, that the features that most of it has even just totally blows away the features of the commercial software. I mean, if you really look into it, you will be shocked and amazed at what spending zero dollars and zero cents can get you. You look at how awesome that is, and then you're thinking, wow, how much better could it be 
if instead of all these coders like fighting each other and competing with each other and bickering and arguing about their API is the most efficient and fuck you, it's got to be done this way and, and this protocol is better than this protocol and all these things that hold up development. Imagine if, you know, all the coders were working together because, um, you know, more efficiently because only ego can be offended by the identification and analysis of problems. Productivity can't be offended by that because if you can identify problems and find solution to the, solutions to those problems, it's a damn good thing, isn't it? So, of course, you know, a lot of these people, they're not going to be able to to look at themselves in that way and be like, well, damn, you know, I've been, I've been kind of a, an arrogant prick, haven't I? And I didn't know I was, and I didn't mean to be, but now I've I, identified this. So now I'm going to open my mind and shift things around and no longer be an arrogant prick. And now my productivity and efficiency is going to go way up, and it's going to be a good thing. It's not going to be something for me to be offended about or pissed off about because this information was inconvenient to my ego. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to help me. It's going to increase my productivity. So, and everybody does this to some point or another, regardless of whether they're a programmer or not, whether they're a genius or not, regardless of how intelligent or not you think you are. Um, everyone does this to some extent, so we've just gotta, gotta break out of the paradigms and just kind of shoot ego, you know? Just be like, no, ego's, I'm not ego's bitch anymore. No, fuck you, ego. I'm, you know, let go of my ego. I, I want to shoot it. You know? <laughs> so you've really got to break free of these and realize that, you know, when someone tries to point something out to you, that they're not necessarily being a fucking dick that, you know, maybe it's just the equivalent of, hey, you know, uh, your fly's open. You know, I'm not trying to be a, be a jerk about it. It's just your cock's just hanging out, flapping around all over the place. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that, that it's kind of embarrassing. So I'm trying to save you from that humiliation. If you dip up your fly, your, your cock wouldn't be out flapping in the, in the wind for everybody to look at it and laugh at you and go, oh my God, his cock's out there flapping in the freaking wind. What a loser. Yeah, so change your perspective change your thinking, and man, life is going to be a lot better. Um, it's going to be a little hard. It's going to take a while. It's going to be difficult first, but you can do it.